Hey, what's going on guys? There's a storm going on, so I'm gonna make this pretty brief and also that's not gonna show myself because it's just gonna keep flashing and it's just annoying. So that's the reason why there's no webcam today. Um, and also disclaimer, apparently there is an issue with global with his enhancements where if you enhance his noble guard or whatever it's called plus two, you don't get the preemptive cover, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna change that because that'd be ridiculous. So, with that being said, hopefully they will be changing that because otherwise if you enhance it to plus two, he, he loses a lot of his effectiveness, especially in Arena. So, just with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into his abilities here. Dual cast for all abilities and magic. Um, wish he would have gotten triple cast, but okay. Uh, ten. He also has defense and spirit break here and also ten LB gauge for everybody. Pretty decent. Self, 75% mitigation. Also... 75 or 4.5k to barrier and also 100% provoking while well, chaining. Okay. And the thing that I mentioned, the preemptive cover only if you didn't enhance the noble stance. Hopefully you didn't, but I'm pretty sure most people did because it gave more stats. So hopefully they fix that or they reverse that and do something with that. And his brave shift form cover with 80% physical mit human mitigation, not too bad. And with that, he also gets. 50% uh, general and physical and magical mitigation, also human mitigation. Un auto, auto, AOE auto revive for all allies, of course, on a cooldown there. Absorbs earth damage taken. I know people like this, but it's kind of niche, I guess you could say. So there's that at least. I mean, you could you could use it on, on, on Demon Wall, but I mean, Demon Wall is one shotable at this point, so I mean. I guess this is good for new players who can't one-shot Demon Wall, but I mean, I think even with like two weak chainers and a very, I think Tifa and two weak chainers could finish him easily. So keep that in mind, guys. You haven't beaten Demon Wall. Uh, in his grandest, imbues enemies with Earth Element and also 100% Earth Resist for all allies, which reduces his effectiveness. If you guys, if you guys don't know about this mechanic. It is true. Basically, if you if you raise your earth resistance, you're actually not going to be able to absorb much or at all earth if he's covering earth for earth damage. So the part problem for me, and I think I said this in my JP review too, the resistance thing is nice for everybody else, but for him, he doesn't want any earth resistance because then he he absorbs less or none at all. So with that being said, let's move on. His Brave Shift Limit Burst gives Earth and Peril area effect, which is okay. I've never used it, but it's there. And also 100% HP with a whip. Uh, we're going to be talking about that in a moment. So, of course, as always, there has to be some cons. Uh, only four turns in Brave Shift, although I'm not sure if many people even use his Brave Shift. I think most people do use this as base form because of the uh, preemptive cover and all that stuff, so. Not very many useful whips for tanking. Uh, that that could be, there could be something on global that could be different. But I'm pretty sure there's not very many whips at all. There's there's very in general there's not very many whips, and most of them are magic based actually. Also, his preemptive cover really isn't that useful besides arena. Besides arena, so you're gonna be seeing him a whole lot, and tomorrow as well. When when that when Celeste Banner comes, tomorrow is gonna be a thing where he has berserk on his auto attack. He basically is an arena unit, and for those of you who may be saying, you're not going to see four of him in Arena and, and, and him, you definitely will. Because Global didn't get the Vincent and uh, whatever her name was, Cancer. I don't mean to use Cancer in a negative light, but I mean, there's nothing else to describe it. Um, so Global didn't get all that stuff. So Yumero has Berserk for free as a passive. So people are going to be more enticed to get four of him through UOCs or just pulling than the other units that had Berserk, if you guys understand what I'm saying, like putting them, putting Berserk on them, because there's only two, point, two, two things of Berserk in the game, and this guy has Berserk for free, so you're definitely going to be seeing, uh, I, I guarantee you're going to see at least a few uh, C-Cards and also Yumaros in a team. Uh, you can't escape C-Card on the JP side at all anymore, almost everybody has them, so unfortunately that's the case, that's the case. so <laughs> for Arena is super annoying. Uh, for everything else, I'm not sure. I mean, he's, he's okay. So, I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go eight for him. Not incredible or amazing, but pretty good. Pretty good. I would, I would say he's pretty good. Um, with that being said, let's move on. 
the sky. We got sky here. So her STMR is just as it was described, which is pretty neat. We, there's, no, there's no vagueness involved. Pretty good. They used to be really vague with their STMRs and stuff, but now they just straight up tell you. So that's good. The same as the same as it is. So good. Infinite turns, good. Base form, 87. Well, actually, on both. She has this on both sides, by the way. Um, this 87% attack and defense break. Also 30% spear and peril, which is pretty decent for three uses. Remember, guys, both sides. Just saying. I uh, forgot about that. 400% TDH, 500% cap on both sides. I want to be very sure about those ones at least. 150% Creeper and Dragon Killer both sides. 300% jump damage on the base form. Her little burst 130 times extreme Nova frames, which is 10 times more than the free Fina's. Wow, crazy, right? 10 times more stronger than the, the free uh, Blue Mage Fina Reef Shift that we'll be getting soon. So there's that. She'll be able to chain with that at least. Um, Inflict self berserk under 50% attack for one turn. So how berserk works? I'm pretty sure if I recall, uh, berserk works differently than regular buffs. So she can have 300% attack buff as well as ber berserk. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. That's why it exists. Because otherwise, 150% attack is not much. She also has 40 LB fill to start with no ex awakening things or anything like that. She just gets that as a passive, I guess. Pretty good. Uh, I wish some I wish some JP units had that. Brave shift. She has 130% wind in peril. Um, also in her race shift, she has the 100, 130. Yeah, she has 130% wind in peril plus 50% wind amp for herself. I'm not sure if the wiki says it's a normal ability, but that seems really good to just be able to cast that. So I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty sure it's a normal ability because it has an icon for it. That's normal. So that's really strong, actually. That's pretty good. That's one of the best abilities I've seen in a while. 50% wind damage is really strong, guys. Uh, if you remember, Ferris has that on a cooldown for 50% fire amp for herself in her grave shift form, which I guess not people even r r know about because no one uses her grave shift form much. But yeah, she has that, and this Sky has that on a normal ability, I'm pretty sure. So, 30% attack, 150% on dragon and reaper killer ability, pretty decent. 30% little burst damage. 400% jump damage, which is 100% more than her base form, which is fine because that's it, it's where it needs to be anyways. Brave shift alone burst, 200% LB damage buff, 150% accuracy decrease for the enemy. 50, 50 times plus 35 times, 3 times each, 155 times. The so one hit and another one hit um, ability, like alone burst there. And it's 90 times, 23 t times per 5% morale. Uh, above 100%, 550 times max. Uh, this seems like a, a win more thing, guys. Because if you're if you're at 100% morale already, um, you're you're doing probably you're doing pretty good, or it's the very beginning, anyways. So okay, I guess it's pretty good. But I mean, I don't know how you're gonna be. Able, it's gonna be very hard to get, you know, like a huge number there if you guys think about it. Like if you remember the last one where we were just basically beating them on, the, on turn three. I don't know if you need to worry about this at all, so just saying. Just saying. And once again, we got Bamboozled, I'm pretty sure, anyways, that we got Bamboozled saying that there would be a jumping little burst. Uh, back then on the JP version, there was some, there was a mistranslation or misquoting that one of the, the people on the stream said that Sid's um, little burst was a jump, uh, and it turned out that was not the case, and again, it seemed, I don't know. I don't know if it was actually said on the, on that global on the global video or not, but some people were telling me that it was going to be a global jump, uh, like a like a, a little burst jump. And once again, this has nothing to do with jump damage, unless the wiki's not complete. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is though. So unless that changes, this is not a jump little burst, which would be really good actually. It would be really good uh, with the 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 jump damage and the little burst damage passive. So. She does have jump. It is um, 85 times with using those two abilities that give her mod buffs. Uh, no self imbues, no jump abilities besides her normal attack, and most of her damage is beside, be, behind morale based mechanic, which all of us knew anyways, but I just wanted to state this. Uh, most people already knew that it was, was going to be happening anyways. Uh, 85 times jump damage on their normal attack if you use those mod buffs. So there's that. So what do I think of Sky? 
I, like, once again, we're in the situation where it's kind of hard to, to, to do like morale based review, I guess, because she basically is only good for, for uh, a Clash of Wills. I, I would really recommend not using her at all outside of Clash of Wills, unless you need 85 times a uh, jumper, I guess, if you if you really needed that, because that's her only usefulness outside of um, Clash of Wills, because her Lone Purse is not that good outside of more, because like it's, it's, way, it's way weaker than even Third Sephiroth and Tifa's normal, like her their first lone burst, which is 200 times, so it's already weaker. It's only stronger in in Clash of Wills, which we already kind of knew about. Most people are saying that already. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna, I'm gonna split them into. I think I did this already. M in terms of Clash of Wills, I'm gonna go ahead and give her 8.5. Um, no self imbues like Louise had, and not very many options in terms of just not the same stuff that Louise had. This is unfortunate. Like this seems like an Alum Alum employee came in here and did this because she doesn't have a lot of abilities. What's going on? This is a global original. Like, did you see? Do do you see Louise? Did you see Ling? Who who was in charge of that? Because clearly whoever was in charge of those units was not in charge of Sky here. I'm just not impressed. I'm sorry. I, lo I love the sprite. I think she's, you know, everything like that, but whoever was in charge of the last Clash of Wills is not in charge of this one. I'm sorry. No offense, but it just doesn't seem like the same effort was for those two units with this one. She doesn't really do anything that special besides be a finisher. She has chaining, but like, so what? So I don't, I don't, I don't know guys. What do you guys think in the comment section? I'm gonna give her 8.5 for morale. I'm gonna give her like eight for normal because just because she does have 85 times jump damage, which is stronger than Arden's at least by two times, but still technically stronger. So, what do you guys think about this? Am I, am I wrong in my in my assessment here? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm just a little I'm just a little disappointed because I was pretty hyped, not, not gigantically hyped, but I was pretty hyped about her because you know global original. Um, but I was just, I was slightly disappointed, not, in, and not entirely disappointed though, I'll say that. It's like, it's like a minor disappointment because just the lack of unique abilities and, and interesting things that she could have done. Whereas when you look at Louise and all the things that she can do, despite all the hate that she got for her CG animation, like the voice and everything, Louise is very unique and interesting, but this is less so. It's just less so. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!